Uh, this is Tom Etanjo from National Institute of Informatics. So today I talk about the conformance batches for common workflow language. The first, uh, this talk is mainly for users who execute CWL workloads, but in the last few minutes, it is for the developers of workflow engines for CWL. So let's start. So currently, CWL has been supported by several workflow engines. For example, the official website lists the 17 workflow engines. So users can choose uh, one engine to execute the work, one or more workflow engine to execute the workflow. But on the other hand, users have to choose an appropriate workflow engine that satisfies their demands. Of course, there are several measurements to choose one, but uh, in this talk, we focus on the specification. The first point is how well the workflow engine supports the required features. Uh, it is important because it affects the portability of workloads between workflow engines. And the second point is which optional features are supported by the workflow engine. I mean the optional features uh, process requirements that are listed in the specifications, such as Docker requirement or inline JavaScript requirements. The important point is uh, they are optional features, and therefore uh, workflow engines may not support some process requirement. So users have to check which optional features are supported or not by the engine. And the third point is other features, such as cloud platforms or extra features that are not listed in the specification, such as MPI support or GUI support and so on. So the, in this talk, we focus on the first two points, that is the what, uh, our engine supports which features, or it doesn't support which features. But uh, in the current situation, there are no good ways to do that. For example, the official website currently shows a list of workflow engines for CWL, but uh, there are no information about supported and unsupported features of CWL. And therefore, we have to read the whole document for each workflow engine to search for the supported and unsupported feature for that. But uh, sometimes uh, it is documented, but uh, sometimes there are no description about supported and unsupported features. Sometimes it just says uh, this workflow engine supports common workflow language, that's all. But uh, it is hard to search for, it is hard to choose uh, appropriate workflow engines. So we want to improve this situation in some ways. Currently, I'm not sure what is the best solution for that, but uh, it would be nice if it is easy to understand how well a workflow engine supports the required features. And also, it is uh, it would be nice if it is easy to understand which process requirements are supported by the engine. And uh, for the developer side, it would be nice if it is easy to maintain, for example, by using continuous integration scheme. So, for example, how about batches like this? Uh, there are badges uh, like this in the readme for each workflow engine. We can easily see the overview of supported and unsupported features. But uh, can I do that? Yes, we can do it with conformance badges. So what is conformance badges? Uh, they are generated by using the official test suite 
of C W L, and each batch shows how well a given workflow engine passes the conformance test of C W L specification for each document class, such as command line tool, workflow, and expression tool, and also for each process requirement, such as Docker requirement. And uh, here is an example of conformance batches. And by seeing these batches, we can easily see the uh, workflow engine mostly, uh, mostly passes uh, conformance test for command line tool, and it passes all the tests for expression tool and Docker requirement. And on the other hand, it doesn't pass, this, pass uh, any conformance test for step input requirement. And uh, by using such batches is a very good starting point to see the overview of supported features. But uh, from the developer side, uh, how to make it that a problem. So uh, I show the instructions to generate the conformance batches using the official test suite of CWL. First, uh, please run the test suite, run test.sh or CWL test with the batch zero option. And uh, after the execution of test suite, you can see the uh, JSON files are generated like this. And uh, the, in the next, uh, please to the generated batches directory to a publicly available location, such as GitHub repository like this, or uh, other public servers. And after that, uh, please refer the resulted JSON files in the documents such as readme. And uh, here is an uh, example of the markdown format, but uh, other format is uh, almost the same or similar. And finally, batchend.net that is a web service to, that generates uh, batch images. And uh, it generates conformance batches for each conformance batches like this, from this content into this batches. Hmm? Very good. So next, uh, we'll show the several use cases for conformance batches. The first is the front page, such as README. And uh, here is the example of the README of EP3, that is my uh, own workflow engines. And by using this, uh, users can easily see the supported and unsupported features, which is supported, uh, for example, in this case, uh, scatter and step input are uh, not supported, but uh, other features are seems no, mostly supported by EP3. And the second use case is uh, release pages for the engine. Uh, because the uh, developers can put the uh, conference batches for the specific release, and therefore users can easily see uh, which supported features are improved in this release, or which features are newly supported for the new release. Okay, uh, maybe we have a time a little, so we talk about other works about CWL. Uh, currently, uh, we are working on building an ecosystem to select and you uh, to correct and utilize workflow metrics like this. And uh, this ecosystem is based on the CWL metrics by Tatsuro. And uh, in this uh, ecosystem, um, CWL metrics generates uh, workflow metrics and uh, it is there to us uh, to the metric server. And uh, we have developed galaxy based metrics utilization and metrics collection systems. And uh, in this system, 
it utilizes the workflow metrics to choose the appropriate computing resource and allocate them for each workflow steps. And also, it generates the workflow execution metrics that are compatible with C level metrics. And also, we have developed a visualizer of workflow metrics. Uh, name, it is named Drillhawk, and it is already published in this website. So please check it if you're interested in the Drillhawk. And uh, currently, uh, we are also working on EP3. It, it is our own workflow engine and to generate uh, workflow metrics and also utilize the workflow metrics. Okay. Uh, here is a conclusion. The conformance patches help us to choose appropriate workflow engines, and uh, they make it easier to see how well a workflow engine supports the specification, and also they provide a unified way to check it. That is, uh, we just search for the conformance patches in the document. And uh, from the developer side, they are easily generated by using con continuous integration schemes such as GitHub Actions, and Circle CI, or Travis CI, and so on. And finally, uh, for developers of workflow engines, so please, please add conformance badges to the website of your engines. So that's all. Thank you for your attention.